Welcome back everybody. Creatives in and around the mother city are in for a spectacular show as the Day Corrects Design South Africa returns to Cape Town. Now the event will see established and upcoming enablers, curators, collaborators, studios and designers who have done their city proud locally and internationally showcase their talent and creativity. CN, uh, Cyan Collingworth, the portfolio director of Day Corrects South Africa, well she joins us uh, this morning from a Seaporn studio to tell us more about this year's show. A very good morning to you Cyan. Thank Thank you so much for joining us and welcome to Morning Live. Morning, thank you for having me today. Absolute pleasure. Now, speak to us about the Cape Town leg of the Decorex and what can attendees look forward to? Well, this year we've really tried to do things um, very special because it is our 20th year. So it's something really exciting and we're looking at celebrating with all of our exhibitors and our visitors. Um, you know, being one of the most premier decor design and lifestyle exhibitions in Africa, it's important for us to showcase global trends, especially in a local way. So we've encouraged exhibitors to really look at the global trends and what's happening globally and, and experience that in a Cape Townian way and in a South African way. We all know that every festival has got particular themes that will set the tone for the festival. So what kind of themes are you running with this time around? Well, our theme for this year is the rhythm of life. And the reason we chose this theme is we looked at um, things that are happening on a global level. And really, we live in such a digital, fast-paced society at the moment. We're always connected with our smartphones, uh, making sure that we answer emails at any time of the night, all over the weekend, social media. Our digital life really dictates what's happening in our lives. And we said to ourselves, you know, how do we come back to who we are? How do we reconnect with our inner selves and our family? And it's about finding your own rhythm of life within your home and curating special moments and special places within your home that bring us back together to who we are as a person. And about uh, creating special moments, how then do you ensure that the shows are different every year in the different cities? Well, it's very important for us to change things up every year to make sure that things are different for when visitors come through to the show. So we encourage all our exhibitors to really showcase their new products, launch their new products, launch their new services to the public. It's important for people to see what's new in the market. We also come up with very exciting feature areas and one thing that's really, really going to be beautiful this year is our at-home trend home, which is curated by our um, creative director. And it really is a beautiful, beautiful housecape setting where we're looking at different trends that we can see from a global level, um, such as um, the psychedelic tropical theme that's coming through, large-scale wall art, um, the mixed metals and beautiful pastel colours that are coming into our homes. We also have the incredible Plascon stand that's really about colour therapy and how colour relates into our lives on an everyday level from work, office and even into our homes. So what sort of changes, if at all, uh, have you made for the Cape Town leg of this event? Well, as I said, the at-home trend home is very different this year, something new, something exciting. We've also got a wonderful project that's very special to me, and it's called the She Sheds, where we've got four decorators in the Cape Town region that are decorating a, a woman's sanctuary. So instead of the man cave, we're now looking at the She Shed. And this is linked to um, a very special non-profit organization, the Pink Drive. And it's all about breast cancer awareness and creating awareness in South Africa. And because my team is a woman team, um, a, a team full of dynamic women, I wanted to, to, to do something for them, to celebrate women in South Africa and to celebrate my team. Now, this event is in its 20th year. Uh, so how is it different from the previous years or how has it grown over the years? Well, when we started 20 years ago, we started at Spear Wine Estate um, and we only had 69 exhibitors and 15,000 visitors. Um, and 20 years later, we have 300 exhibitors and over 36,000 visitors. So we really have grown from strength to strength and that really is because of the loyal supporters that we've had over the 20 years. All right. Give us more details about the, the prices, the times, the, the tickets, etc. The ticket sales um, you can either buy at the door at the CCITC or you can get a compu ticket or via our website uh, decrex.co.za and we are open from 10 until 6 every day until Tuesday the 1st of May and ticket prices vary but an adult ticket is 110 Rand.
All right, Cyan, thank you so much for joining us. That's uh, Cyan Carlingworth, the Portfolio Director of uh, Daycorex South Africa, talking to us about their show that's set to take place from the 27th of April to the 1st of May at the CTICC in Cape.